Cool. Today we're going to take a look at monads in Haskell. In particular, we're going to take a look at why monads compose operations sequentially. It took me a long time to understand what was happening here. And I was especially confused because a lot of people were saying that just taking a look at the type signature for bind showed that operations were sequenced. So without further ado, let's jump right in and take a look at the type signature for bind. We have here the type signature for bind. We start out with a value of type m of a, which is pretty much a value of type a in a monadic context m. And we want to end up in a value of type m of b. In other words, if we call this value our present value and this value here as our future value, what we want to achieve is to go from present to future. Notice that the second argument to bind is a function that we will call step function, which takes an A and returns our future value here. So in other words, to go from present to future, we just need to apply this step function here. The trick, which is the secret behind the sequencing is that this step function can only be invoked if we have a value of type A. And if we consider this value here of type M of A as a context in which eventually A is produced, we can see how there's a sequencing in here happening. Now, let's make things a bit more concrete. Let's take as our monadic context, maybe. So we replace all of the occurrences of M in the type signature for bind with maybe. And then let's take as A and B's the type int. So we do the same for A and B, replacing them with int. This is what comes out. So our type signature is now more concrete. Also notice that we extracted the step function and gave it a name. It's now called step. With this setup, we can build our sequence of operations by calling first a function that eventually, but only eventually produces a type, a value of type maybe int. And then, only then, when that value is produced, we can sequence another operation by using bind. And that is why monads compose operations sequentially. If you like this video, please let me know. I'd appreciate any sort of feedback. See you next time.